Hello, my name is Michael West. I'm a senior fellow in the King's Fund and professor of organisational psychology at Lancaster University. And I've had the privilege of being here at County Durham and Darlington NHS Foundation Trust today. I've been talking about the real importance of compassionate leadership to create kind of compassionate cultures in our organisations which will deliver high quality continually improving and compassionate care. That means leaders paying attention to those they lead, listening with fascination, understanding the difficulties and the challenges that those they lead face, empathising with them, and then taking action to serve, support and help the people that we lead to deliver the care they want to deliver, to do the jobs they want to do. It also involves making sure that as leaders we're focused all day every day on the vision and mission of the Trust, with you all the way, doing what we need to do as leaders to support staff so that they can be with patients, community, service users all the way. Right first time, every time, leaders thinking every day about what they need to do to enable staff to provide care right first time, every time. It's also about ensuring that staff are clear about what their objectives are, that they're not overloaded with work so that they can perform to the best of their ability and that we're giving them really helpful data and information on their performance. It's really important as well to understand that if we want staff to treat patients with respect and care and compassion and dignity, we have to treat staff with respect and care and compassion and dignity. Staff well-being, staff engagement, staff positivity are the most important determinants of the quality of care and patient satisfaction in our organisations. It's also about ensuring that we as leaders create a positive emo emotional environment, that we are authentic, that we are open and honest, that we are curious always about how we can lead better, asking our staff to tell us how we can support them more effectively and then to implement those uh, changes. It's about being compassionate and it's about being appreciative, about saying thank you. It's also about leaders focusing on helping staff develop new and improved ways of delivering services, of doing their jobs, of giving them the autonomy, the space, the freedom, the support to make improvements in their work. And that means ensuring they have the time as well to make improvements, so that they're not so overloaded that they can't improve quality. If we're not improving quality, it's going backwards. And it's ensuring that we're building effective teams. So ensuring that leaders are focused on giving teams clear direction, ensuring a sense of positivity and optimism and cohesion and, e and efficacy within the teams, making sure that there are good inter-team relationships. One of every team's five or six objectives should always be improving the effectiveness with which we work with other teams in the organisation uh, and ensuring that we are encouraging positive attitudes to diversity in every team, valuing difference of opinion, of professional background, of demographic background, and creating collective leadership where everyone feels that they have leadership responsibility, where there's shared leadership in teams, where leaders work interdependently across boundaries, prioritizing patient care overall, not just their own individual areas, and where all leaders are behaving across the organization authentically, openly, honestly, positively, supportively, compassionately, uh, and are committed to creating an environment that enables staff to flourish. That means, as I said at the beginning, leaders who lead compassionately, attending to staff, listening with fascination to them, understanding the challenges they face, empathising with them, and then taking really helpful action to ensure that we help staff do the jobs they want to do for the benefits of our patients and our communities. Thank you. My name is Nigel Lesnar and I'm delighted to be speaking at the Leadership Conference today. 
I'm going to be talking about how to become an effective zookeeper, how to create impact, and most importantly, how to look after yourself and your team. Communication is not that complicated, provided you understand that different people who work with you are just different animals. And there are no difficult animals, they're just different animals. And if you understand that everything you have to do is to make an impact, life is really simple. If you're not making an impact, why would you do it?